Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? Let's go. Woo! Just like that. Workout done. Good 40 minute workout. Broke a good little sweat. Ran a mile and then hit the arms and the chest. Feels good, feels good. I've been active, but not like gym rat active the past week. I guess it was the Halloween candy or something. Birthday, Halloween candy. Not making excuses, but just saying I needed to get back in there. There's a different activeness, I guess there you could say, about chasing your kids or pulling them in a little car up and down a hill versus focusing in on the gym and going hard Ugh. burpees they're called burpees for a reason i gotta buckle up and my arms are on fire last 90 days y'all get it so one benefit about getting up earlier and working out is like mental clarity or mental stimulation i guess i'm just not all foggy and groggy past like four days i've been just like frustrated and irritable and aggravated with myself and the, then thus taking it out on the kids not like taking it out on them but i can just feel a, a difference in my attitude towards them i don't know where i was going with that i was just giving you a little tidbit of information there so take it with whatever salt grain you want but uh last night brooks was not feeling too well and he didn't really act different, but at dinner he was just like, I'm done. He didn't really have an appetite and whatnot. Took his temperature, he had like a 99.1 or something like that. And then just like passed out. This morning, he usually wakes up at like five, ever since daylight savings time, like we were talking previously. And this morning he slept till 7.15 and uh, just took his temperature and it's up to 101. So getting him a little ibuprofen and he will not be attending school today another reason why getting up earlier and working out and getting yourself mentally prepared even if you're not preparing anything getting your brain mentally triggered and awake helps because my brain and my thoughts and everything leading up to this was oh I knew he went to bed feeling kind of crappy last night and as opposed to me just rolling out of bed when he rolled out of bed and being like, ah, get out of my face, or ah, I gotta get my teeth brushed. I'm up, ready to go, and ready to shoot this in his mouth. It's berry flavored. Mm, there you go, good job, buddy. Y'all are the best medicine takers in the family. Yes. Oh, yummy, but... yummy. Feel good. He has oh, a, no. I just explained him. Him. Yeah. You tell them. Mama G over yeah. there been taking care of him. And Ada. Mm -hmm. Ada's <laughs> worried about her. Worried Ada about takes him. my spot every morning I get up. Yes, she said, do. Oh, I want some oh my <laughs> goodness. I, 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 I don't feel too good either. She got <laughs> under the covers in the middle of the night because it started to get cold. We got a cold front done. Come through here. It's cold yes, outside. Did. Look, you want to see yourself? Who's that on there? <laughs> Who is that? Who's that doggy? <laughs> the dogs see screens. Oh, they do what color see. is that? Is that yellow or red? He said it's it's blue. Like it's yummy. blue. Look at my eyes. I see blue only. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> what color is that? Do you know Spider Man? <laughs> no, he said he wants some gum. And I asked him if he wants something to eat. And he said, no, just gum. And I thought, you might need some. <laughs> First gum. First gum. First gum, and then something to eat. Yeah. Okay. I'm not gonna get over there too close, but that's how the Nemo's sleep in that corner, and they're always, typically vertical, up and down. There's a little light kind of kind of shining in from the room, so they're kind of waking up a little bit. But usually they're completely vertical, either like that or nose up, almost completely still, just barely flapping their little fins. Pretty freaking cute in the mornings when I come in and I say, oh, look at them, they're all snuggled up sleeping together. And then George, where's he? There he is, he's just always patrolling. I don't really see him sleeping too often. Get it, George. So, quick update, Gaines was just chilling over there by the fire after getting a bath, and her temp is 102.6. I, went to, I was helping her put her, she was like, can you just put my clothes on for me? <laughs> Which she's usually not like that, and I took her temperature. I was like, you feel really hot. Let's see what's the deal. We're going to give it a few minutes. Maybe it was the fire. I doubt it. But I mean, I don't think that affects your internal temperature. We were backtracking, and we went to that Let's Play uh, Play Place on Sunday, and it is germ season. Yeah. You, you feel okay, or are you just kind of like, bleh? Well, she was fine the 
this morning, but then all of a sudden she was just like yawning in the bathtub, and I was like, well, the time change, you know, everybody's tired, but I think. She needs a shirt on underneath that white thing. <laughs> it's camo day at school, and they've been looking forward to it all week, and they're both going to have to miss it, I think. Can't send them to school with a temp like that. No. We'll check it in a few minutes. Yeah, we'll give it a few minutes. I don't think a fireplace would make your internal body temperature go up. No. In other news, if you haven't gotten your turkey dressing shirt. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not stressing like, about uh, it. We're not, you're stressing. not stressing. We're not stressing about it. It's all good. Um, you might want to go ahead and get that so you can get it before Thanksgiving. Like, you're going to probably have to get rush shipping at this point. Maybe not. Maybe not. But. Jim Hollister looked dank as junk in his. He did. I saw that. Missy said that they ordered some. So they've got some. And uh, this is the, if you didn't see Cullen's haul on Instagram, this is the women's flowy long sleeve. And it's like thin, but it's like flowy here, but it's tighter on the arms. And the sleeves are like ribbed. So it's a really cool, I like the style of it. And it goes up higher in the back and shorter in the front, so it kind of like, wait, higher in the back and longer in the front, so it kind of like, you know, it breaks his holler. Be back. All right, let's try again and see what happens. I noticed when I was getting her out of the bathtub, her breath smells just like his does. So that, that funky, 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 it's not, funky. Uh, like a strep throat type thing. Get funky with it. Cha cha, real smooth. Do 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 do. Oh, sorry. Turn it out. The 101.8. So, I mean, it's not 102.6, but it's still up there. You probably need to stay home, too. Yeah. Hey, good news yeah. is it's Friday night, date night, movie night. We can just watch movies all day. So, you can probably get your pajamas back on if you want to. So, you'll be comfy and cozy and you can rest. And I already got your lunch made if you want to eat lunch. <laughs> she hates being sick, like, just mentally. Yeah, she's, she's like, like, oh, no, I don't want to be sick. We just had a conversation about body temperature and all that, fevers. Yeah. Teaching her about how the fish tank water has to be a certain temperature or else these fishies will get sick. Seven plus two. What does that equal? Seven, eight, nine. Nine, so seven plus two equals nine. Give it a little eye and a little tail. This little mousy. <gasps> Cute. Seven plus two equals nine. Look That's at that really little fun. mouse. That looks just like a mouse. Remember when Brooks was in the bed and you were trying to make him laugh and he didn't feel like laughing? Is that how you feel right now? Yeah. What helps maybe cure a fever other than dun dun dun? Oh my gosh. What is that? Don't touch him. I'll touch him for you. Sprinkles, is that the one you want? <laughs> <laughs> you want a donut, it's buddy? Like, it's like cheesecake? No, cherry pie. Yeah, hang on, don't touch, hang on, don't, don't touch. touch, don't touch. We'll get, I'll which, get you a tell plate. Me which one you want, and then I'll, that one. That one, okay, that was a good idea. Get y'all some appetite. Wanted. Yeah, and the nurse just called me back from the doctor's office, and she had said to make sure they ate something with their ibuprofen so their stomachs didn't get upset. That's so. true. I'm glad you brought them so they could eat these. I am gonna take them in to the doctor. Usually if they just have a fever, we'll just kinda let it play out, but both of their throats are really red, and I just am a little bit worried about strep, so we're gonna go to the doctor here in a little bit. Hey, after some donuts and naps, they came down and I made them some grits, but she fell back asleep right here on the couch. We have the doctor here in about an hour. Brooks has had a couple popsicles. Still kicking after about an hour long nap. I don't even know if it was an hour long. He like sat up and got out of bed and came down and was ready to go. Maybe he broke his fever, but he still had a high fever when you checked. It was uh, 103.6, wasn't it? 103.6. That was gains, wasn't it? I don't even remember. 103.6? They were all at 103 at some point today. And the popsicles hopefully helped in that improvement. And that was the point of this was still 103 like an hour after having every person. Mm. We are at the doctor's office. I dropped the kids and Katie off at the front door to get them in quicker because we had a little traffic. Toy Story. Yes. Y'all excited? Ready to get feeling better? No. <laughs> no. I don't. I don't. I, oh, I didn't see the doctor. Why? He's going to make you feel better. No. He is. No. Doctors are your friends, buddy. Why is it always like right when we get to the doctor's office? He hadn't had Tylenol either. Like, what is going on? 
Hey, you probably just need to chill chill out. You gonna get you gonna get sleepy. It's like seeing how tall you are to ride the rides. Are you tall enough for Slinky Dog? There you go. Come on down. Well, yay. Okay, baby, come on. All right, buddy. How did that go? Oh. You all right? You got a little snot. Yeah. How, you want to tell them how? Oh my gosh. I think they're allergic to the camera when I pointed it right up at no, them. No, I'm not. I know. I'm just kidding. Do you want to tell them how that went? What they do to you? Did they stick something in your throat? In your, in your nose? Whoa. That'll make it better. Not a fan. They were not a fan. I'm not either. I don't really like getting my throat and my nose swabbed, but we got the strep test and the flu test going, so we're going to see what happens. Oh gosh, you got me. Oh, you're squirting your odors in my face. <laughs> oh my goodness. Close your eyes. <gasps> Open. Sticker. Baby Jack Jack and. Betsy Nancy. Cute. Yay. Well, the verdict is they both have strep throats. Yes. How are those throats feeling, guys? Man, we were in there so long, it got dark outside. What's crazy is the, <laughs> no, test, really. the strep test came back negative, but he could just tell by the look. He's like, oh, no, there's polyp, or what is it? Polyps? Well, there's like the pus pockets, and yeah, then there pockets. was, um, how, what's it, petechia, I think that's what it's called. The little red, they're like little um, red colored dots on their, like right above their tonsils, and that is a pretty big indicator of strep, so. And I could tell there's a specific smell to strep throat, apparently, because this morning I was like, mm, y'all's breath both smells exactly the same. And so I think we're gonna need to go to the doctor before the weekend. So yeah, I'm very glad we came with it being about to be the weekend. We are able to get some medicine and get these guys feeling better. Update, we uh, left the hospital. Hospital? hospital? I always call it the, the hospital, doctor's the office. doctor's office. Look at that, totally different scenario today. Today, yes. Thank you for um, the I medicine and antibiotics and modern medicine. Gaines brought her baby doll. When we got home that night after the doctor's office, they like, she passed out on the couch again and when I went to take her up to bed, her temperature was 104.6 after she had just had some ibuprofen like an hour before. So we were kind of freaking out a little bit. I did make sure it went down to like 103 before she went to bed. The next morning they woke up and just kind of had like low fevers all day, like 100, yeah. 101. So we just laid low yesterday, chilled, had a good little family day resting recovering and i think they're basically good again today. cabin fever we had cabin fever i think yeah. we, were, we were going crazy stir crazy being cooped up in the house for the past two days they're feeling a lot better after the antibiotics and antibiotics is that what it's called <laughs> <laughs> i just figured it was a gorgeous day come out let them kind of just do a little bit of interactive play this sound is park over. This is where this is, birthday yeah party. this is where he had his birthday party you splash pad was on so check it out and then Brooks picked out his own outfit today and he's got a chip clip on there to keep it together because it kept coming <laughs> yeah. apart. <laughs> and then Gaines is over there and she's got her baby doll. So I went and picked up some pizza. So we got some pizza over here to eat for lunch. Just going to have a fun day here at the park. 